Well, the Bears came away with the big win last night, everybody. Here's some of the excitement from the team fresh off that big dub. Yeah! to the crib get dealt with. Yeah, baby, huh? it's our house. Our house, baby. Yeah. Ha! Ha! Hey. Just got the dub and so, we're going hey. to Club, club Dub. Club Dub, baby. Club you know Dub, man. man. Got our nine wins. We just Club Dub, baby. Oh, oh, oh. There you have it, Club Dub. The Bears celebrating in our locker room, which has become Club Dub after big wins. And there's no bigger win than this past evening for the Chicago Bears. Now 9-4 and four in the Bears defense. They put on a show. They stifled an explosive Rams offense, winning 15-6. to six. Here to put it all into perspective, the dapper Rick's Fo Rick Fox lookalike. So you can't even former, say it, man. Come on, man. <laughs> Rick Fox lookalike. Or <laughs> Northwestern Wildcat, Corey Wooten. <laughs> Uh, former Bear, too. Uh, yeah. How excited were you after this one, man? Man, that was a heck of a game. But how about Nagy in there laying the hammer ah, before right. they did it? Ah, all but, right. But that win, I mean, the it's defense, the, the way the defense played, we talked about being a Super Bowl type of defense. That defense is the most dominant in football. And you talked about, hey, pump the brakes. I don't know if they're Super Bowl caliber yet, but after beating the best team in the NFC. Don't you? The best team maybe in the NFL, exactly. Corey. So, like, if you beat the best team in the NFL, don't you then become the best team in the NFL? And not just beat them. Convincingly, they held them to 214 yards. This is a team that put up over 500 yards. Jared Goff, Todd Gurley were in MVP talks. Man, they shut them out completely. They did shut them out. And take a look at this defense right there. Even a safety, a yeah. huge one coming in the third quarter. And you're going to see a lot of plays here yeah. for an inept L.A. Rams offense because of that Bears defense. It's just a shame, Corey. As good as these Bears are and as far as they can go, they're going to be held back because their quarterback is bogus, man. He cannot play. I'm you telling you. You don't, you don't believe in him at I all. I am not a believer, and I got people in here. I got Mike on the floor looking at me like okay. I'm crazy because he wants to believe. But I can't believe in this quarterback, man. But he, Mitch Trubisky let them down last night. Lucky for that defense. But hold up. He missed two games, though, so he's a little bit rusty. We've got to see how he bounces back we go the against excuses. the Packers, right? It's tough to come Bounce back. back the Packers, he had a shoulder Packers injury. Deep, but the Packers defense is not a good defense. But the Packers is the team that year in and year out, they usually beat the Bears twice a year. It's a big so, rival. Yeah, it's a big rivalry game. Aaron Rodgers, they beat the Falcons. So they're going to come ready to play. They always look to spoil the Bears season. So I'm going to see next week how he comes out to play. But the thing is, with that dominant defense, they need to run the ball a little bit. Take the pressure off. Yes. I would love to see them run the football. The final question I have for you, Corey, is the one that everybody in the studio, yeah. everyone who's watching, who happens to be a sports mm -hmm. fan or at least a Bears fan or supports their city wants yeah. to know, can the Bears win the Super Bowl this year? Yes, I do believe so. If wow. they run the football more convincingly, you look at last game, they ran the football, but they still put a little bit too much pressure on Trubisky. If they run the football, take the pressure on, open up that play action, rely on that defense, I think they can make a legit Super Bowl run. My last question for you. When you go to bed at night, do you take your hair and put it directly on the side thing, <laughs> then wake up in the morning and put it right back on? You know, I, you know, I come up in the morning and I just put a little bit of water, juices and berries, and that's how I come out. You know, if you, if you need some help with it, you know, you know what I'm saying? I, I go, you know, there's wax nothing, on, wax off. There's here, Corey. All right, Corey Wood and the Bears will have uh, a week to prepare for the Green Bay Packers. We'll be, be back next week to talk yeah. to you about that one.